Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm posting content on scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. In this video, I'll discuss a 90 centimeter silk twill scarf from Hermes's Fall Winter 2023 collection, Super Silk Quest by Elias Kaforos. I'll start with some background about the artist, talk a bit about the design inspiration in video games, and then take a deep dive into one of the available colorways for styling possibilities. Let's get started! Elias Kaforos lives and works in Athens, Greece. He has a BFA in painting from the Athens School of Fine Arts and studied animation at the School of Visual Arts in New York. In 2013, he was also the recipient of a Fulbright Foundation grant. A relatively new artist with Hermes, some of his past designs include Eleftheria, which by the way was a highly collected design that was reissued this year in a GM silk plissé and a silk 140 centimeter version. Other scarves include Horse Awards, Chefaloscope, and more. This artist draws inspiration from disparate and wide-ranging points of reference such as film, online culture, Renaissance painting, or even Buddhist meditation mandalas. His work has been described as experiential art, weaving dizzyingly complex and prodigiously oversaturated compositions that are unmistakably and instantly recognizable. The origin of video games can be traced back to the mid-20th century with the development of technology and the convergence of various innovations that laid the groundwork for this still-growing industry, which, by the way, in 2022, revenue from the worldwide gaming market was estimated at almost $347 billion U.S. dollars, with the mobile gaming market generating over 70% of that, at roughly $248 billion U.S. dollars of the total. Anyways, the earliest experiments in computerized entertainment date back to the 1950s and 1960s, believe it or not. Researchers and computer scientists began to create simple interactive games on early computers. One notable example was called Tennis for Two, created by a physicist named William Higginbotham in 1958. That was a tennis simulation game displayed on an oscilloscope screen. However, Space War is often considered one of the first true video games that was developed by a gentleman named Steve Russell and his colleagues at MIT in 1962. That game allowed two players to control spaceships and engage in a battle on a computer screen. Space War was influential in demonstrating the potential of computer gaming and really was the foundation for future developments. And, you know, in the 1970s, that really marked the emergence of arcade games. Computer Space, created by Nolan Bushnell and released in 1971, was one of the first commercial video games. However, it was Pong, released by Atari in 1972, that became a massive hit and popularized the genre. Now, this scarf's theme follows a recurring archetype in video games, that of a hero or heroine's journey, where the player assumes a protagonist role who embarks on an epic quest, facing challenges, defeating enemies, and ultimately achieving a goal. In this case, the goal are three Hermes purses, two Birkins, and a Kelly. As a side note, you may know that during Drake's L.A. lure tour, he gave an audience member a pink Birkin bag. That's a hell of a concert souvenir. Anyways, quest-themed video games can trace their roots back to text-based adventure games like Colossal Cave Adventure, also known as Adventure, created by Will Crowther in 1976. These early games were entirely text-based and relied on players typing in commands to navigate and solve puzzles. 
In the early 1980s, though, Infocom popularized the genre with games like Zork and The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's one of my favorite books, by the way. Uh, These games featured rich narratives and complex puzzles, setting the stage for more narrative-driven quests. Then in the 1980s, the RPG or role-playing game genre, with its focus on quests, character development, and exploration gained prominence during this period. So those were games like Ultima, created by Richard Garriott and Wizardry by Surtech. Those were early examples of the genre, often set in expansive fantasy worlds. Shigeru Miyamoto's The Legend of Zelda introduced a mix of action, exploration, and puzzle solving into the quest-themed genre. That was a pioneering title that offered open-world exploration and an emphasis on obtaining items to progress just like this scarf. So here, Elias Kafors drops us into a fantasy world where the super rider must weave between columns and complete a maze. By the time you've up-leveled, it is time to battle a horde of monsters lying in wait who stand between you and your quest for the three iconic bags. When considering a scarf design, one of the first things I usually think about is how it's going to look when folded. If you haven't seen my videos on the art of the fold and how it can change up your look, I'll put links in the upper corner and description below. For this exercise, I've chosen my favorite colorway in this design, the black, blue, and beige, which has a highly versatile palette that is going to pair well with just about anything. Let's take a look at the way a fold can highlight not only different parts of the scarf, but different colors.
So there you have it. Some background on this scarf from the Fall Winter 2023 collection by Hermes. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time! Thank you.